for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. So, I don't know who to grab, who not to grab. <laughs> I grab everyone. <laughs> Oh, on my back. <laughs> Want me to carry? Okay. It's okay, it's like soon. Thank you. Do you feel tired? No. Plenty of rest last yeah, night. Of yeah. I know. Salut. <laughs> I told you you're going to be very. Yeah. So you are always prepared. Yeah. Full family of Africa under its mango tree. Mm -hmm. Preparing for listening to his or her history concerning our ancestors, our common ancestors. This is the good time for us to meet together here. Mm -hmm. They wanted to separate us, and now today we are. Together. together, yes. Okay. This is the moment for us to remember many centuries ago what they have done to our ancestors so that they, we cannot be together. The same cause make us together here today in this historical house. I'm very sorry for my voice. But I get, uh, yeah, my voice mm -hmm. yeah, because of the weather. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am asking, yes. I'm very happy for me to share the story about this house with you. From the beginning to the end, if you have some question, you can ask for some. But... What you need to do, from the moment you arrive, that I can say, we should make ourselves into action of the renovation of this house. Because it's not a moment for us to say, you have to pay for a visit, it's not good for this place. We have to contribute, to make the contribution into action. What we need for everybody that is, co is concerned about this house or this history. So, you know, the problem of for slavery before coming to this house. I don't have to give you a lesson here. Mm -hmm. But what I want to add is like, especially in this house, everything was done in the period that we call a clandestine period. Which means they're supposed to make and to finish with this liquid. And among the traders, there are some of them who really want to stop it. Mm -hmm. That's why they came and continue again. So at the time they arrive on the place here, they have set this building in the middle of a great forest. So from this building to the seashore, that moment, long about one and a half kilometer. Because of the way that the forest surrounded here, the ship will not be able to mention so far what happened here before. But everything started here from 1830, mm. finished in 1852. First January 1852, as the British government notified that something continued this way, they have asked for the signature of the Treaty of Abolition. 
And this meeting was, was held in Lagos, Nigeria. And after this, they have sent what we call fire staff, in which they put a message of abolition to all of the kings in the coastal region. Then that moment, they have sent three of these staff to Togo here. One of these was, was sent to the Gliji Kingdom, the second one to the town called the Gumukope, and the third one to the city called the Porto Segura, known as Agudra for today. It means this city. So Porto Segura means safe port or port of security. That was the name. The Portuguese traders at the time they were establishing themselves here, they said they were looking themselves at home. That's why they have attributed this thing. So, for the 200 years anniversary of abolition of slave trade, the former director of UNESCO was in this house on 14th February 2007. When he was there, he just put a memorial in set, as we can see when he go to this direction. So when we come back now to the house, as we can mention the architecture, so the architecture of this house is called the style of a president. This upstairs was for the slave traders, and the downstairs was for the slaves. And the whole building composed with six bedrooms. We have the living room, we have the corridor on three sides, eastern part, western part, and southern part, about one and a half meter in large. And the whole down of the house, made like cave, almost one and a half meter in height. This was like the measurement of the shelf of the ship. Mm. And the traders were saying that the slaves were learning from the cave how they have to be in the ship during the journey. At that moment, these traders were free upstairs in their accommodations. Mm -hmm. They have everything on the other on their side, even their bed well dressed. But unfortunately, in the cave, the slaves used to sleep on floor in the sand, no cloth, no mattress. It every day in jail like prisoners. And sometime in the night. They were choosing some of the women's slaves and raping them here and there in the accommodation. Sorry for the women among God said that. And that woman they used to eat and drink around the big table in the little room. And they still used to be under their feet thinking about how tomorrow can be for them. And this is the question. Where did they go and capture this slave from that moment? They used to go to the capital from Elston north of Togo. Those from Chandaka, eh? Sokote, Akapane. They captured the rest in the valley of Modo, not far from our another site. And after, they guard all of those things in the market we call Blokoti Sime. This Blokoti Sime market was behind the lake in the public. They have to make their ethnic attraction, they bring the enslaved to this house. So when they were here, the first step going through this entrance you can see under the baby here and there. And they used to go by crawling before getting inside. And they get inside, they used to stay for days and weeks in all the positions, like uh, sitting down, lying down, learning, playing, bending themselves inside. No ability for them to stand up like you do. And they used to spend days and weeks there until the ship arrived. And when the ship was there, they took them out by here again, taking them so far away from here to go and take their ultimate bath for qualified as a purification bath. And this bath was taken around the well-known Aga from the all changed people well. But over there, they forced their slaves to walk seven times around the well. And that was a ritual mm -hmm. using against the slaves so that they could not be able to remember the way back home so that they forget forever Africa on their back too. So after they put them to the small embarkation. They pardoned them to the Great Sea in the ship and from the ship now to the last destination. So this is the way. They have done everything in the house. Now we shall go to the rest in the living room. The once again I say, dear brothers and sisters, thank you and you are warmly welcome. Yes, there's no to there now.
First time came in 1958 and recently 2006, but formerly made by the same wood, covered with dark paper. Now, I have the table here. At the time, the slave traders were eating and drinking, the slave used to be here. Can you come to this, please? Formerly, there was no light inside. The slave used to live into total darkness there. But now we have light inside for showing people what this can be. Even today, it's possible for every visitor to go in, to experience himself, to understand in which condition the sleep used to be inside. Somebody want to go to try and see? Yeah. Okay. I will go first. Just sit like me here and be in like this. Simple. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Simple. Slowly, yes. slowly, 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 slowly. Do you want to go this way? Mm -hmm. yeah, take it. Take care, take care, take care. Take it. 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 Take Everybody, take care of your shoes. You can even stand on the floor if you feel. That's a man. So, I can tell you all you done it or have done it already. Kind of position they slave used to be in before. Some of them can sit down like, like you. Some of them can be like her and me and him. Some of them also can lie down when they are so tired. That means they, don't, they didn't give us possibility to be in our normal position in this cave. That's why we say they have done it yesterday against us here. But today they cannot come and do it again. But today this become the truth. We can tell all around the world. When we tell them, never this cannot happen again in Africans' life. But we know that in the modern way, they continue by doing it again today. But we say, just 
make a to deals by approaching the associations those who are working about the maintenance of the human being rights so that this can stop all over the world i thank you for your way coming down here for your way sitting in this position for your way that remembering our ancestors in this cave that we say no cheer no cheer because they make they, they made us crying last last before that today we don't have to cry again we just have to remember because if we cry today they will continue by saying they have done wars to us that we just take this like our weapon to reclaim our rights so stand for our common right in africa for our common right all over in the world in the usa uh, europe and every even in caribbean and what i have to say we apologize on behalf of our african ancestors those who didn't know and they make themselves in the complicity with these slave traders they didn't understand something they just done, they have just done it they didn't understand anything but now we understand all please forgive them forgive them and we say from today as why here you going back there tell our fellows we need them we are waiting for them to come back to our common continent africa because you are one of the arms called cut from africa we feel that you come back so that we can join it for what we are now in africa and we can take it together do something together for the common development of africa thank you one more for choosing coming to this house you are welcome Ashley. you can go back now 